Hi everyone, hello from Miles Autica here again, and today we will be working on the XC90 again. Uh, we're going to do a power steering pump, and I know a lot of the times those words can make people a little bit scared because it sounds like a big job, but on this it's not. It's a, it's a very small, simple job, and the um, simpler of us can do it. Well, I did it, so <laughs> let's go uh, let's just take a look. Um, what you're going to need for this is a uh, 12 mil. Um, I use a deep socket, but if you've got a 12 mil with a little extension, that should be fine. And a 7 mil, 17 mil spanner, and you'll need like a 7 mil spanner to take a jubilee clip off. But um, we went through that, and I'll talk about it whilst we're doing it. Anyway, so all is well in the world. So uh, we've got the car ready. Let's go have a take a look, and let's move on. power steering pump here so you have to disconnect the the alternator belt but it's already off on this vehicle if you see down in there where my finger is it's a, a 17 mil um, nut I guess or a bolt holding the the, um, the hose on so we're just going to crack that off spin it out all the way it's only a, a soft nut, so you, I ideally want to just be patient with this and not put too much force on it because you'll spin it off. So uh, now it's cracked loose. By spin it off, I mean round it off, sorry. But now it's cracked loose, we can just back it off with our finger. Back it across the back, holding this uh, hose into place. It's a, a 12 mil. So you're going to crack these two bolts off. Use your hand as a hammer if you need to. So there's one on the back of the power steering pump, and you can see the other one is just above my hand. So I'll come off and do that one now and show you. Put that one off, we're going to go and do the one on the back here. Out. We can just move this bracket totally out of the way and take the, the hose with it. Put it up out of the way. I'm try to bring you in here to show you where the bolts are. So the bolts go through here, now with my finger, see? In here, but it comes through the, the pulley itself. Right, okay guys, so um, we've got to take off the bolts now that hold the power steering pump to, to the vehicle. Um, but these can be a little bit tricky to get to and because of the angle and where everything is set to I can't get the camera in there to, um, to show you the bolts and to be honest I get in the way of the camera quite a lot which I didn't realise until after um, anyway so I've got the power steering pump here so let's just have a quick look of the bolts so if I can line this up in here alright so you're going to have to come through the pulley here so how does this sit? it sits like this so it's sat in the vehicle like this. Is it sat in the vehicle like this? Yes, it is. It's sat in the vehicle like this. And if you can see here, you've got one bolt at the top and the two down the bottom. So you just need to line these holes up so you can get to these, these bolts in here. So these are 12 millimeter bolts. So you just undo them and, have, and then that should just come straight off. But obviously I couldn't show you that on the car, so Go back down now and have a look and see see what we're doing. Three 12 millimeter bolts now holding the, the power stone pump to the bracket on the vehicle. You have to. I'm using a deep socket, but if you've got a um, a normal socket on a uh, an extension or something like that, it has to go through the pulley seam. So it's it got a series of holes in the pulley. So if you line them up with the bolts, you can just crack them off through. It's nice and simple. I'm going to speed this up um, a little bit just so it's not dragging on for so long. Uh, 
the last one out the bottom down here. Just put your hand around the back just to support it. And then just slide it out. When it comes to refitting, I'm not going to show you that because I'm not refitting it. But obviously you'd have to sort of bleed the system out and refresh and all the power steering fluid and things. There's a there's a hose here that was already de disconnected. But that's just a jubilee clip. Undo that jubilee clip and then just pull it off the top. And that's it. That's how you remove it. And there we are. It's all done. It's all taken off. Um, like, you've, like you've seen earlier, I've got these bandaged up in some shape. I know it looks awful. Uh, but I've got to ban this step because it will leak power steering fluid. So if, if you're sending yours off like this, just make sure you, you fill up those holes. If you're not and you're replacing yours because it's faulty with another one, then put, try tipping it upside down into sort of like um, a drain pan or something like that just to collect the oil. Obviously, you don't want to leave that dripping on the ground. Um, but there we are. That, that's it. It's all sorted. Um, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe too, because I like it when you do that. Um, any other issues, leave a, a note in the comment section, and I'll try to advise you as best as I can on on that. Um, cheers. Thank you.